I came with two of my sergeants, and based on the request and because of time, it will be a little brief. Military wise, we can teach, we can also preach. Amen. Yeah. One time, one other time, military talk short and listen long. That's the goal. But we are fast listener and a slow talker. That is why we don't demonstrate very difficult to do that. So I will give my sergeants the chance to orientate all of you a little bit. Then at the end of the day, I will come and promise with all of the messages we will provide. Thank you. So Sergeant Paul, you can come and take them through. <laughs>
Observe far and cordial priorities. All of these things I'm discussing from one loyalty. Uh, now I'm going to two and three of the seven core values. I'm still discussing loyalty. So we should, you should show faithfulness to your unit and your comrades. And I know everything I'm discussing so far me out. Gospel life. Just as the Bible says, love yourself just as you love your neighbor, or love your neighbor just as you love yourself. So honor loyalty, honor military, we say show faithfulness to your unit and your comrades. Whosoever that will have to join the military tomorrow, I want you to understand that these seven core values, when they are not part of you, you will not stay in the military. Your time in the military will be short. You will be fighting for right, equality. Those things don't work. Discipline is the benchmark. All of the days is discipline. One those a question for you gave you all of it. I want to tell you the reference to. But those of all that get fear in the military. The old army was not also bad. They were not bad, those of our lady, before the conflict came. You all understand that the old army were not bad. Until the front conflict came. And all of them got frustrated. And people start doing things out of the way. They forget about the seven core values. Out of our means of not receiving support, where you are assigned, no support coming, you have to sustain yourself. Forcing people out of the way to get things that are for you. For the core value may exist from the day of hope of the military. And everybody has been observed in it. So in the military, we get lawful and unlawful or two orders. I can't get rid in the church because they have a what in it and somebody here has found watch or found shoe. And I tell me, she say, go and remove that man's shoe. He will look in my face because of the education and moralization of our military and then he saw the progress of our home. Why did he do to you that you remove your feet? I mean, shoes from his feet. But during the armed conflict, these things were not happening because these guys were frustrated. So in an open manner, no support that can fear. For the military, I would like to apologize on behalf of the military, the past. Anything that they might have gone wrong, forgive us. We didn't do it intentionally, but we still have certain core values that we travel with today. So to run through them, we say carrying out tough order without expressing personal criticism. In the military, whether it comes rain or sun, whether I eat or not, the mission comes first. I pledge my life to die for the sake of all of you standing here. So death is my friend. Yes, I am not ashamed to say I want those who pray that God should be all around the country, all around the world. Somebody will ask, why? It will make me to be a friend, but there where I found myself. And the pastor sitting up there was somebody come to church every Sunday. There where he found himself. The one in the butchery prayed that somebody died every day. There where he or she found themselves. But let the man face the cascade was to pray that somebody should die every day. So it will come and pray for them as a business. So don't be afraid of my statement, but there where I found myself. But we hear that and pray to defend the territorial breath of Labrador and that should happen. So I will jump straight to duty. One of the seven core values that is born from loyalty will go to duty. Duty. Fulfill your obligation. If you are given tax to be acquired, it is your duty. If you are given tax to be a member or a cleaner don't shift blame it is your duty fulfill your duty don't compare your lifestyle to another person i can stay in the military as long as i want to stay once i'm disciplined with these seven core values loyalty risk loyalty duty respect let me get wrong what we are there they come out of the Loyalty is one, duty is two, respect is three. Then we come to um, selfless service. 
selfless service is full. We talk about honor. Honor is five. Integrity. Integrity is six. And the last but not the least is personal courage. So you see how they are intertwined. If you decide to read all through all of these things, you will see them intertwined. There is no way you will perform a duty if you are not loyal to that duty. And there is no way you will be dutiful if you don't respect what you are doing. If you don't value it, you will not do it with your whole heart. And in doing so, don't pull your self-interest first, which is for the heart of God, or selfless service. Put everything behind you and focus on what you're supposed to do. Not because I'm a sire or usher and I'm not taking pay. So I should do the wrong thing. So they are all joined. From selfless service, then we come to own. It means that somebody will see your work you are doing. I want to employ you. Why does Jeremiah have been very beautiful? And the tax he gave him, he implemented. He put a mission phrase. He does all good. Let's promote him from this ring to that ring. And another person will be there because of you taking all of these things as light as it is. You will not get promoted. That's how God to work. He look at all of us heart. How sincere are you in implementing all of the Ten Commandments? And you get rewarded. Amen. You must see somebody there by you. Your life improving. But yours is not working. Check yourself. Now wage. If it is wage, boss is getting that wage change. But you are blocking yourself. So the seven core values, those of us who are militants in Christ, should understand the seven core values should be with us. After honor, we go to integrity. One of those things that we have as a serious problem in the entire country. Integrity. Are we honest to ourselves? If we go on the soft branches of loyalty, the process, we the people are talking about obligation. Some of our take pay, the family don't benefit. You go to the woman will complain, you go to your husband will complain. But chargeable, when I grab them, I don't joke. We punish them, our military deal with strict laws. Don't be afraid of us. Be afraid when you are doing the wrong thing. I'm not telling you, say, don't be a spread of say your mess when you get ready and just go. If I say all of the while school, they say I shouldn't be afraid. You just go to work and they respect somebody. We laugh. But just as we are, we can laugh. That's how we can change. But with the last I can get best. Near by Guinea or so. The manager got very small. Maybe we'll fire with a message. <laughs> Just more vestation. So pray, don't be a better personal best. From integrity, we go to personal courage. Everything they are intertwined. You could be somewhere where you are not taking pay. Have that personal courage. If you are selling go and your time has not yet reached for your blessing to come, have that personal courage. I could be trapped in any situation. That would not make me to expose. My colleagues, if I would die, then I will die. If I'm caught, if I won't tell them, say, oh, my colleagues are highly ready. Then. You see me, you will still die. You won't see me, you will still die. Then save the life of your colleagues. They will come back in revenge or avenge of your death. We are in war game. We expect all the respect just as. We expect ourselves to also respect ourselves. On a note, our recruitment is the 4th of January. We are looking for able men and women. We encourage more females 
Young one in our military. I would like to see all of you here in the military. We are trying to introduce something. We still thinking about it. ROTC, we see a very light that many people not pay attention to it. So what we do, that I am thinking about and the entire organization while putting forth. Before you become president of the republic, you will pass through the military. It will help the discipline in the leadership. If the president for the republic pass through the military, and he or she become president, the discipline will be hard in the country. Sometimes some of our in Paris I drink water in red light to get thrown and trash. It's difficult for me. To get if in the street with ground B or something, get me thrown in the dead for you. Yeah, I see a lot of deaths that are all around me. But it gave me tough. Once I'm here, you get from the law with one trash in the packet that I fall. The packet is there to carry time, to carry anything you think about. But because of economic constraints, I will come in my friend tomorrow and see how this place is like. The problem is not from the soldiers, not me. But it is not politics. But we pray that God help all of us. Amen. And things get better God. Amen. Thank you very much.
Fasting is not harmful. Don't be afraid. If you don't have it, you can come here our base. We feel that it will be one of those questions that will be coming here our car. So you should have that vaccine card. Two passport side photo. You should also have BSC, but there are criteria attached to those from OSA with BSCs or masters, you know, discipline area, specialized area. You could be a doctor, you could be a nurse, a lawyer, an engineer. The four categories. We need people from there from outside with degree. But please, if you are a social scientist, you do sociology, you do accounting, you do public administration, what can show, 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 show you do? We don't need it. Don't come with your BSc. We only need engineers, we need doctors, we need nurses, we need lawyers with degree from outside. So from age 18, 35 maximum. That's what we are taking. Okay. What about someone with degree in education? Someone with We don't want a shun shun shun. We don't want no shun. Education is not yet needed. Those people we need as vacancy we got. The 14 military hospital need nurses and need doctors. And they start. Now we are about to set up what we're dealing with now when it comes to our legal system is uh, we are dealing with disciplinary board. We don't have provoked marshal yet. And we need provoked marshal. In establishing provoked marshal, you should have a certain amount of lawyers. Yet we got, I think, three or four persons who have graduated from law school and the Bar Association already. And we already have approximately around eight to nine in the law school, but we still need more lawyers. We got a lot of renovation that is coming out of from government side or from our federal barracks around the country. We need engineers. That's why we have some, but we still need more. It is for that bad drug we need in that category. But for education, for economics and social scientists and all of people, we don't reach that level here. When the time comes, we still come back to you and demand more. What about people that are on RT, media services and things? For now, the vacancy is not there. Okay, good. The vacancy is fully restricted for now to what we put off from. If it will come tomorrow, we will still let you know, just as it is. Okay, suppose there is someone competent in this uh, congregation. I will be happy. I will uh, even bring their application and go home and where. It is as simple as any other thing, and I will recommend to anybody who wants to form part of becoming recruitment, mainly females. We got out of the 350 we're about to recruit. We're taking two, 200 females and just 150 males. So the competition will be too high among the males as compared to the females. One of the things you need to do if you have all your documents that I just talked about, your national ID card or voting ID card or passport, your high school documents, and all of those two passports are to do. Do photocopy of your original documents. Have the original in one photo, have your photocopy in one photo. I will advise you to go on a tear. Because this time around, we centralize it. At first, we used to decentralize. We divided the entire country into three regions. That is, we divided the 15 counties to five five. And people were meeting to various areas. The whole of East were meeting in Great Gideon. Central were meeting out of the Bone County or Lima. And the rest from this place were meeting in Mosurado. So it was a little bit easier to do the recruitment. But most of the alone, the three people we're talking about, most of the alone can. Okay. If, if you say 20,000 recruitment, most of the alone can provide. Then we're talking about people coming from low five other places. So one of the advice I have is you go on the tear, you got a land of B with all your documents in your hand, both photocopy and original. Go right to Raritan on the tear, maybe time like day or early in the morning, go and just stick around. They call anybody in the video, they just think they're running watching the two flames, either from Lane Street end or from US Drive end, just stand to that intersection and be looking both sides to see where they say, you're getting the land. People will sleep on the land. If you go to an advice, you go with co protected stuff, materials, jacket, because people will sleep on the land. 
some of that came to that since seven and eight. It was still tough. You will see some valley men in. When they can't get to you, you can get to you. Then some can't even read. You get few when they enter the post, they won't be valley people. But you have to read. By the time you enter, I don't touch all yourself through the land. You have to have confidence in yourself. They will just show you someone a simple sentence. But you want to stress. Know that you will not be in peace. Sorry that we in the house of God, or you'll be receiving insults from and spitting your face and telling you to read a shit. Read a shit on stress. Transforming you at that particular point from surveying the life to a little military life. How well you can withstand stress. And see what you can really put yourself together and you're to read mirror is going to school as simple as it. You may see all of them there's shape already and not even able to read mirror is going to school. Let me pull you out with your big body. Get us out. You start right there. You even start, you really start to start taking this. Okay, uh, uh, Sergeant, thank, thank you so you. much. You tell Just me. talk about this. Uh, how, uh, how transparent do you think that is going to happen when the entire recruitment process is not being decentralized? And if everybody comes to the most around, do you think it's going to be transparent? Because in like you usually say, and like ready the house. It will always be the same. But my conclusion the first time came, I said that God help all the leadership in this event. But it is because of bad road condition we decided to decentralize it. You can't find a vehicle that will be from here and reach train here so easily. We don't have chapel. Like all we were doing. So this time around we decided to get ready for the right way. All you need to do is have confidence in yourself. It is as transparent. Don't allow anybody to tell you, say, give me $5, I'll go in the hand. You will need it free. Okay. Thank you, you will need it free. Thank you. So you need to believe in yourself when you are permitted that one of the things you should fight to do, have the chance to just enter. Then have confidence. But the land will be there and will be regulated. Nobody should take you on that land and say, can't give me small thing, let me carry you as well as you play. If it is noted, we discharge. I saw you before from the military for doing that. And you started taking people from beyond. Somebody came and made a sacrifice. The whole night is took on the line. Then before you came, you found a friend or a brother, you're taking them from way beyond and bringing them in from. Since you want to bring somebody in, you are out. And right there, you want a military like people are in. You believe in. You, the discipline is very hard. Let me know that too. And when you come in there, make sure that you are clean. Substance abuse is one of those things that we don't joke with. Substance abuse. Those that can take drugs. After every three months, we can run drug tests. Anybody will see with drugs you out. We are very straightforward on that. The chief of staff don't joke when it comes to drugs. When it comes to the issue of rape, we are very tolerant. So some information you will hear us have. It is time to say this out. The uniform can be sweaty, you will know. <laughs> I swear. And for this day too. There are a lot of shit that can go on the feet. Sorry for that. There are a lot of things that can go on the football feet. But because of the discipline flash set into your arm, you can touch it. <laughs> when they say attention, president speaking on your day. You ring coming, you go in the bush. When you get home, you will watch it. Discipline is hard. So when you come here with a mindset to make money, when you come here with a mindset to just come and blow, heat is in the uniform. Let me tell you one time before you say, they didn't tell me. If, if you need any question from back there. Anyone have a question from back there? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Major Kaka, Major Kaka, stay over there. Yes, sir. Major Kaka, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I, I see. Captain Bozwa. Where Captain Bozwa? <laughs> okay. So, anyway, we hope, you know, the military is a disciplined area. And it's good. In Liberia, we have had different mindset about the military because of the time many of us grew in, right? And even though he said the old army was disciplined, that is definitely true. 
But most of the people that misbehaved were not only they were militants. You get that? Rebels. So it gave us a lot of, especially our generation, some of us said we would never join the army because that's what we thought. We thought it was army. But we need a good army. I want to appeal to you. If you are a high school graduate, if you are, if you are a high school graduate and you think that uh, you have a passion, remember passion, right? You want to serve Liberia. You want to do something, get where it starts from. Try to talk to any of us here. We can guide you in the way. And the military is not just about carrying gun. It's a vast disciplinary area. You talk about, they have the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the law area, you call that? The court martial. They also, they need lawyers. They have nurses that are needed. They have, uh, you used to call it warrant officer. You still have warrant officer? Yeah, warrant officer. And your yeah, warrant officer all work in the engineering department. So we want to encourage you. If you think this is where God wants you to go and serve Him and glorify Him, build the nation, you can start thinking about that today. And let us know with help guide you wherever you come from. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you. Let the knowledge and the team. Like I said, he's a very good brother and a friend. And that's why. He says something is so important. And the day you ready for that, you get 100 percent support for my resources. Even if it means sponsoring the bill. It happened in other countries before you began to have a steadfast in the military. Then we have a lot of indiscipline. You ready? We were talking about purpose, right? He said you're going to the army for, for money, you already feel. Yeah. And that's what we do. Every career we want to choose if a money baby. That's why we're not disciplined. That's why we're not honest. You want to be pastor? That you build big church in your mind and collect offering. So you're not honest. Then you already feel. But this is a job. People go there because they love and they want to serve their country. If we all have that mindset of different career, different profession, this country will be a better place. So I love, I love, I love the army. I love being here with them, especially with Paul's there. Who ever be a soldier of the Lord? I think the next camp or the next activity we're going to have, we're going to create a time for them. Yeah. Where they'll come and do some better teaching. All the things we're talking about, royalty, we need to yeah. be respect. Honor. It's in the Bible. Everything in the scripture. Jesus will tell the disciples, my meeting to do the will of the Father. Is that what I want to do? Father, I really don't want to die, but however, it's not going to lay a will be done. But we come to go, we want to open the will, we need to check the one, we want to open the will, we want to open the will. So that's why every time I read about the army, it helps me more. So just thank you, all, man. Thank you so much, Lieutenant, for your coming. And we look forward to coming out there tomorrow and hang out with you guys. And just have a wonderful and a great time. God bless you. God bless you.
media team. If you want to be part of the media team, we are asking that you leave this evening. Amen. Our brother here, Abraham Colin, is also going to be having drama team. He's going to be doing play like all of this. He want you guys to meet after eating time. So please meet Abraham Colin. He's one of the guys who sings here. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray. Lord, say thank you to God. Thank you for today's session. Thank you for those who taught us today. Thank you for the knowledge that you have given them. Thank you for our for our, our mentors, God Father, who have given that time to change the next generation. Lord, to impact us with what they have learned before, to not make those mistakes that they have made, that will make new mistakes to give to the coming generation after us to make another mistake that is newer than ours, God Father. We say thank you. Thank you as we are over to eat. May you bless the food that we are about to eat, God. You hear us. Help us to maintain our self-discipline. In Jesus' name, I pray.